Happy Thursday, everybody. We are very, very, very excited to bring you guys some Halo Infinite gameplay back at the academy level. St. Clair Saints Academy team taking on Lebanon Valley College. Jobin and Fundy here for the inaugural Halo stream of the year and of the last two years as well. How are we feeling, brother? Great, great. I mean, the <laughs> debut of Halo Infinite here on the stream now got that academy title oh. under it as well. And coming here into week five, we should... Stat-wise, have a pretty close game coming yeah. up. Both teams finding themselves 2-2 two and two coming into this week. And, you know, we haven't had too, too much time to really, you know, talk to a lot of talk <laughs> to the team and everything and, and get this all set up. But it seems like, you know, the team's really been working throughout these first few weeks. And, you know, we've seen some, a few players come in and a few come out yeah. and... They now, I think, have a, a five or six player deep roster really to work with. And uh, I think that's definitely going to show coming into this. I know tonight they will have, I believe it's Maple, Rin, Redux, and Accusing Penguin. But don't quote, don't yeah. quote me on that. They gave us some yeah. mixed... They, yeah, maybe they're going to switch the roster. We heard a couple different answers mm -hmm. from some of the players. So yeah, as you said, maybe they're going to swap some people in and out, see what's going to end up working out. I think they've been kind of doing that all year, just kind of yeah. plugging and playing people as they're available and as you know the matchups make sense. But you brought it up. Both of these teams are going to be sitting at 2-2, two and two, I believe. We maybe played Lebanon Valley as a club team last year at some mm -hmm. point, but it's been a whole year. Now the academy system in place. Both teams probably going to look a lot different than last year. And obviously the game... I was going to say the game has changed. Infinite hasn't really changed in the last year too much, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. And I guess since it's the first time running down, we have to talk about Halo in general, I guess. So for those that don't know, one of the OG first-person shooters back mm -hmm. on Xbox, oh, yeah. one of the most iconic franchises of all time. If you don't know the game, you've probably at least heard the music in some capacity. So it should be very, very exciting. Futuristic FPS, you're going to have game modes, and we'll get to the map screen in just a few moments here, but you're going to have game modes like basically Team Deathmatch, Slayer, each team just basically doing a kill race, capture the flag, you know, go take a flag from one side, bring it to the other. Similar modes to like domination from Call of Duty, where you have to take oh, yeah. two out of three objectives, gather points that way as well. So you'll be pretty easy to follow as far as things go. It's just, you know, then you'll see the crazy weaponry coming after the fact. Yeah, and that's a really cool thing about Halo, in my opinion, is yeah, those weapon spawns, right? A lot of it, a lot of the play comes down to timing those spawns yeah. and getting to those before the enemy team. And it it's one of those games where everyone starts on an even playing yes. field, right? Everyone starts with that battle rifle and they come into the map and it's best player wins, really. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what they call a, it's called an arena shooter. So mm -hmm. yeah, you're going to walk up the way the game is played. Everyone's going to have this burst rifle. It'll be like the one standard weapon. It's like standard across every single competitive mode. And then on each of the different maps, there's going to be different weapons that spawn as well. So some maps are going to have the energy sword. Some, yeah. if you remember it, are going to have weapons like the needler. I think they're, I don't think we're going to see the gravity hammer, but I'm coping a little bit. But you're going to see a bunch of different weapons, different spawns. There's uh, the, the skewer. There's going to be a bunch, a litany of different weapons. I think mm -hmm. there's 15 or 20 different weapons, multiple grenade types. And as you said, you're basically trying to play around those power weapons that have that one shot capability. Ultimately, you know, try to stack that and end up winning the mode as well. And yeah, all the, uh, the maps for Halo as well are perfectly symmetrical. So no advantages to like an attacking or defending side or having a bad spawn yeah. you're going to be pretty much dead even split and you're going to see that as the game we load and like whenever we get in the lobby later you'll end up seeing that you'll be like oh it's like even flip on both sides yeah and speaking of the maps we do have yes. those for you guys as well starting off gonna be on catalyst capture the flag which is a new one i mean a lot of the games we cast on here have capture the flag modes yeah. but not Never in their seen. competitive yeah. uh setting so it's really great to see, you know, some some switch ups like that. Aquarius Slayer, we we've got TDM on there. Essentially the same yeah. thing, really. It's just first to X amount of kills. Streets gonna be played on King of the Hill there. Live fire on Stronghold, which is you know a domination type mode yeah. if you're familiar with Call of Duty, and then recharge. <clears throat> back on that Slayer, that TDM type mode. Yeah, so really nice that Halo, at least we're going to get to see, because it's guaranteed going to go to three games. We're going to see three different game modes at mm -hmm. bare minimum. Such a breath of fresh air from Call of Duty and some of the other shooters we've seen the last couple times. It's really nice to have these different game modes. Halo, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. If you haven't really, if you're not familiar with Halo, you're going to get familiar today. It's going to be a very, very, very good time. And with that being said, I think we're going to throw it to a very quick break. Let the lobby get set up here. Hopefully Halo, you know, doesn't give us the Vanguard treatment. Everything should be running fine. The game seems to be working. So hopefully we'll be back right after the break with some Halo action.
Welcome to Map 1 Catalyst here on Capture the Flag. Now, Jobin, correct me if I'm wrong, this goes up to three captures. I believe five is what we saw in the menu settings, yeah. So I think it's going to go up to five there. We're going to see a couple kills going back and forth, as we are going to say. We have Logan accusing Penguin, Milan, aka Redux, Nautilus, JW, and Maple Syrup for the side of Saints Academy. And we have Chipsty, Shem Life, Mingo Mode, and Wizard for the side of Lebanon Valley. Time to see which of these two and two teams can get above 500 and get in that win column today. Already nade. Anything accusing Penguin down really low, and was that a second nade to clean it up? There's the kills coming through already for Lebanon Valley, but only one up on them, and no team to really press any of these flags just yet. Yeah, someone did just pick up the skewer there, so it basically shoots a giant needle, like a giant spear, send like people flying back. Yeah. yeah, exactly what it is. And as you said about the grenades, you're gonna see tons of grenade throws and halo grenades. One of the main sources of offense in this game do a lot of damage. They bounce them off of walls around corners. They are used to set up a lot of fights. So if you see a lot of nade throwing at the floor, it is gonna be very, very normal. And this is a little flag trick. If you pick up the flag and capture the flag, you have to carry it with two hands. You cannot take out a pistol or any other weapon. You have to try to either beat people with the flag over the head or pass it off to a teammate as you just saw. And then if you're sprinting with the flag as well, you are spotted on hard radar. So you have to try to pick your spots when you want to, you know, make that rush and try to, you know, be safe and try to get that first capture. St. Clair though, it looks like this flag is getting juggled pretty well here. Gonna get taken all the way back. Yeah, getting a very far taken away here, but the flag is gonna be back there. So both teams still trying to get on the board first. There it is. Shots are good from Maple. Reach a second one. Not gonna kill just yet there. And both of these flags now off of the initial points here. And both teams are trying to bring these down. There's a flag there being oh. turned. Wow, there's that skewer. <laughs> there's the skewer. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about, the power weapons. Almost any one, even the ones that could be considered a little bit weaker, are still going to have the max value. That's why you're going to see players really rotating to try to play these weapon spawns. Try to get these special armor or item spawns like grappling hooks, active camo, which makes you go invisible for a short time, things of that nature. Redux is going to find the melee killer, is going to pick up that skewer. Has one javelin left in the chamber as well, so going to try to find a frag with that one. But we've seen, yeah, both teams still trying to break this deadlock with the flag. And you'll see that a lot in Capture the Flag. Both teams are going to take each other's flags and just try to play for picks until eventually they get that return and find some play. But so far, pretty much a stalemate. Yeah. Now, does your flag have to be at your own spot? To yes, be that's to why. So you can just back. hold it yes. on your own side and basically hold it hostage. Oh, that makes a lot more sense to me now. And already, a couple picks there for the side of Lebanon Valley could get something started here, but is you still do have to take that flag all the way across yes. the map. So picks are only really going to get you that capture. You got to get more picks to be able to find that full carry, that full map carry there. Chipsty here taking a lot of damage, but dishing out some of his own as well. Nade's going to be good. There's the kill onto Maple, and there's the capture to come through from Wizard. Yeah, they're able to take the Saints flag now. Now, once again, going to have to juggle this bad boy all the way back to their side, but as you said, you're going to have to find those two to three kills minimum to usually get this flag out of the other team's base. And even then, when you're juggling it, you're going to be spotted out immediately, basically playing Protect the President. Nolotus is going to find a kill there. They're going to try to contest this flag a little bit longer, the Saints. Trying to get that one back. Grenade kill going to come through for multiple members. And the flag, once again, going to be picked up by Lebanon Valley. They're going to repeat the process, and you're going to see a whole lot of this until one team's able to, you know, break the deadlock. Lebanon Valley did get that first capture, though, so they do have the lead over St. Clair. And as you can see, this game starts at 12 minutes long, so it either goes to the end of the 12 minutes or whoever can get to five first. Yeah, for sure. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the, if us hit time here with how close these teams have been playing. I mean, picks back and forth, back and forth. Due to fall from the Saints, Shem Life to be able to find those picks. And now, I think Penguin, only one left alive from the Saints, and the flag is taken. There's the melee to come out. Second melee to kill Chipsy. Ooh, flip it back and forth. We saw the nose breaker there, this flag. Gonna get juggled once again, mingle mode. Trying to run this thing all the way back to the base. Try to get Lebanon Valley, their second point of the game here. And that's the tricky part. You gotta wait for your teammates, kinda. Group up. Mm -hmm. 
Maple Syrup is going to find the kill with the frag there. Second grenade kill going to get traded out. Syrup is going to fall to that battle rifle. Accusing going to find the trade. Multiple picks back and forth. These teams playing so nip and tuck right now. Lebanon Valley still clinging to that one point lead though. The Saints just trying to fight their way over to this base. Trying to even things up. Although Lebanon Valley did just find their second capture. So a little more work cut out for the Saints now. Yeah, and that was the return from Lebanon Valley there as well to shut down that Saints capture that they were trying to get started. And now two points is Ooh. devastating to try and come back from. But Nolotis, a chance you can take this one back for the team. Shemlife, though, already got the flag in hand. Going to be jumping with that one. Falls will be able to be returned by the Saints, barring any kind of contestion here from Lebanon Valley. There's the return. Going to be good. Now back to dead even here. 6.22 on the clock left and two points up for Lebanon Valley. Yeah, Lebanon Valley, as you said, halfway through the game, holding on to that two score lead. Couple grenade kills gonna go through. Maple Syrup gonna find the double kill. Maybe try to open up one of these lanes for the Saints to try to finally make a push. Cause as you see, it is very, very hard to get these captures. It takes a lot of things to go right. So you wanna use as much clock as possible to make sure you buy yourself time to put yourself in position to try to make those plays. Not have to rush anything. Cause you do have to be very coordinated. As you can see, it's extremely difficult to get across that map with the flag. As you can see, only Lebanon Valley doing it twice so far. Maple Syrup trying to find these picks on the backside. Going to be up to 10 kills so far this game. So trying to help the Saints clear out these lanes and get on the board here. Yeah. Now two picks back and forth. Waiting on respawns. Neither team really wants to push too, too hard here. It's Wizard. Not going to fight against Redux and keep the flag safe for a couple seconds longer. Long range fight between Maple Syrup and player there from Lebanon Valley. Maybe the winner of this one is the question, or will they just opt back out of that <laughs> fight? As long range with that battle rifle, I mean, we've heard it's best in the mid range, but sometimes long range, that spray can just get a little bit too out of hand and you yeah. start missing some of those shots on yeah. the burst. And as you can see as well, it takes a lot of shots to kill people in Halo. It is pretty much a four round burst to the head to kill with the battle rifle. You can see it takes a ton of body shots. That's why you see the grenade usually used to soften up that armor, take off that first layer of defense, and then use hot swap to a weapon, run up on somebody, try to use the melee. So you're going to see a lot of combos like that, the wombo combos coming through. The most efficient way to knock out players, Lebanon Valley, just being slightly more efficient than St. Clair so far. Down to the four and a half minute mark. Still have that two point lead, St. Clair. Still trying to get on the board here on Catalyst. Yeah, but currently just down against Lebanon Valley. You can see kill wise, score wise, Redux able to trade one back there, grabs an assist, but one or two picks is not gonna do you much when you need to grab that flag in the end is in objective game mode. Yep. There's the double kill coming out from the Saints. So it's only Shem Life left. That's a team wipe. Wizard is respawning, but should be able to grab the flag off of that. Nolotis is going to be juggling this flag all the way back to spawn here. The oh. rest of Lebanon Valley tries oh. to respawn there. And oh, the kills just start coming yep. through. Yeah, this flag getting juggled. We, we did see the skewer get picked up by one of the members of St. Clair. I believe it may have been Nolotis there. So trying to maybe find some value with it there. Try to make sure you make use of those power weapons. Don't put them over to the enemies. Nautilus going to send a player off the map there. Is going to get traded out there by Mingo Mode. The Saints only down to three minutes now. Still trying to break through. And we said they've had some good moments. But Lebanon Valley has been there perfectly respawning to shut the door. And as you can see, KDA not really going to be the story of Halo a lot of times. Especially in CTF. Everyone's KD not going to look too glorious. It's all about having to sacrifice yourself to play that objective. Putting your teammates in the right spot to make those plays. And as you can just see, it is a dead even trade back and forth 90% of the game. Either team. It's, it's a game of inches, but it's also a game of miles. It takes miles to get across the map, but inches to make those mistakes and open up a lane view possibly. Sham Life going to find one there. Saints still trying to break through, but it has been rough going so far. Yeah, one for one back and forth for these teams as players down now for the Saints. Really not too much time to take this game back into your hands if you're Saints Academy here. Nolitis to find a good one. Grenade, battle rifle combo there. Penguin up here with Nolitis. Three shots are good. Nolitis should be able to finish that one off. There it is. Spotting out some more. Keegan Penguin just tossing these nades into that hallway. Energy oh, sword. The sword. Spawning up in the middle oh. there. High in that one. <laughs> Listen. All I want for Christmas is for somebody to end up with that sword and to make a crazy play. We have two minutes left to see it. 
the nostalgia hit will be very real for many, many people to see that sword back in action. We are going to see Nautilus, though, still with that skewer in hand. And the Saints are going to have to try to make a play soon. The clock is not their friend. Looks like one member was going to fall to a grenade. Their wizard being the one taking out the Saints. They're going to have to try to make some advances now. They're going to have to play a little bit aggressive. The good thing is, though, it doesn't take super, super long time-wise to get the capture. It's just extremely, extremely difficult to fight through all those layers of defense. Make sure you don't get pre-nated out any corners like that. The Saints having a hard time still trying to break through. Milan or Redux is going to find that kill there. He's going to try to pick up a little bit of active uh, camo here. Try to get the melee kill. He's going to find it. He is going to find that melee kill, but still, flag not been captured just yet, and we are getting low on time. Yeah, you can see how Lebanon Valley's kind of been playing this. They found those first two captures off of some good team kills to come through. And even when the team kills came through for Saints Academy, they weren't able to convert off of it. They would grab that flag and then just kind of get cleared out middle yeah. of the map. And now Lebanon Valley is perfectly happy just sitting back by their flag, making sure it doesn't get captured, taking this 2-0 lead, running down the clock. Yeah, Lebanon Valley is just going to play base wars right now. We're going to sit four stack probably back on this flag. Maybe send somebody around that mid part of the map to kind of cut off rotations or, you know, at least deal some damage on the way in. But nonetheless, they're going to just sit back, be more than happy to take these fights at their own leisure. They don't want to rush anything. Mingo Modo is going to still try to capture this flag, try to put the nail in the coffin here. Although, with 60 seconds left, the Saints are going to need some heroic plays, and they're going to need it fast. They have a, basically no time to make up a lot of ground here, so... But this can be a very hard way to come back here, but all that being said, Lebanon Valley has played a very, very clean game so far. Yeah, it looks like Mingo Mode is going to secure number three here and secure, most yeah. likely secure the game yeah. for Lebanon Valley. I mean, 38 seconds, you can't make three captures in that time. You got to run too far across the map. Asthma Pistol Ooh. come out from Gem Life, falling to Nolatis, but in the end, it's really just a game of waiting here. Yep to Lebanon Valley, takes map one here, Catalyst CT. Yeah, very, very smart game plan to get ahead on the scorecards there and then just kind of play safe on that backside. They were able to find that next capture though. Maple Syrup trying to get one for the road here, trying to make sure the Saints try to get on the board in some capacity. At least, you know, take some momentum going into map two here. But ultimately, they will fall there. Lebanon Valley is going to walk away with the map one win academy. Going to drop the first map here, but it is a best of five. So first one to three will be the winning team. So they are able to regroup, come back, and I believe we are going to see Slayer next game mode. So maybe the kills will be a little more friendly to them. Yeah, the question really is going to be, you know, when you don't have that flag in the way, who's the better team in terms of gunplay, in terms of accuracy, and a lot of times in terms of team play, really, like if, yeah. your, te if your teammate's able to just toss in a nade while you're in the middle of a gunfight, yeah. it can help you out so, so much and just figure that out because the time to kill, as you saw from that game, not fast in Halo. Yeah, it takes a very long time, and that's why I said you're going to see a lot of people. It looks like they're throwing grenades at nothing. They're either pre-nading a spawn or they're assuming, hey, someone's going to come up this ramp, and you're able to pick up grenades off the ground as well, get mm -hmm. those resupplies. So that's why you're going to see... Tons of nade spam across every single game mode. It's one of the main ways to kill people. But with that being said, we're going to throw it to a very, very short break. Hopefully the lobby resets right away. But we'll be back in just hopefully 30 seconds or a minute with map two. For the side of Lebanon Valley, could get something started here. But is, you still do have to take that flag all the way across yes. the map. So picks are only really going to get you that capture. you got to get more picks to be able to find that full carry, that full map carry there. Hipsty here taking a lot of damage, but dishing out some of his own as well. Nade's gonna be good. There's the kill onto Maple, and there's the capture to come through from Wizair. Yeah, they're able to, able to take the Saints flag down. Now, once again, gonna have to juggle this bad boy all the way back to their side, but as you said, you're gonna have to find those two to three kills minimum to usually get this flag out of the other team's base. And even then, when you're juggling it, you're gonna be spotted out immediately, basically playing protect the president. Nolotus is gonna find a kill there. They're gonna try to contest this flag a little bit longer. The Saints trying to get that one back. Grenade kill gonna come through for multiple members. And the flag, once again, gonna be picked up by Lebanon Valley. They're gonna repeat the process, and you're gonna see a whole lot of this until one team's able to, you know, break the deadlock. Lebanon Valley. Put it back. Short little break. Yes. You're coming <laughs> off of that one. But a nice change. Yeah, we're getting straight into it here. Slayer on Aquarius. This is, like we said, going to be a nice change of pace from that CTF. Really just, it's TDM, right? It comes down yep. to who gets the most kills first. Once again, 12 minutes on the clock. Too pretty typical for Halo, 12-minute yeah. game. Yeah, 12-minute game, and I believe 50 kills is going to be the score limit. So if it does, by chance, make it to there, 50 kills is going to be that target number for both teams. You can see a couple kills going back and forth early on. 
trying to make this game evened up. It's going to be Lebanon Valley just slightly in the lead right now. Or actually, yeah, yeah, Lebanon Valley going to be in the short lead. Trying to play off these power weapons as well. Yeah, that is going to be the commando weapon. So another pickup weapon going to be a fully, a fully auto, basically just an assault rifle fully auto. Another variation. We're going to see the kill go through. Another headshot going to be found. Both teams, again, really, really good back and forth with the kills just like last game. It's just now there's no objective to play around besides finding these headshots. Yeah, both teams neck and neck right Ooh. now with St. Clair College actually taking a bit of a lead, but there it is, Lebanon Valley fighting back Mingo mode with four kills right now for the team. Meanwhile, a little more spread out on the Saints' side. But already, neither of these teams really giving an inch. Oh, just trading one for one, one for one. That's how a lot of these fights go. I yeah. feel like there's not a lot of follow-up trading like you would see in something like Valorant in, in a game of Halo, yeah. really. And I think that just comes down to the time to kill being so, yeah. so low. It's a lot easier for people to reposition and regen their shields there and just move into that next fight. Right? Yeah, unless somebody is hit with like a perfect grenade at the end of a fight or something, yeah, you're gonna get that shield back relatively quickly. So if you're able to get around a corner, you're gonna be you're gonna find that time to reset unless somebody gets you with like that quad burst headshot that we mentioned earlier. But pretty much a one-to-one -one game so far. Both teams trying to find a way to break away though. This active camo is gonna be available for that as well. So as we said, it's one of like the power abilities. You can go invisible for a short time, stealth around the map, try to find those back. Backline flank syrup gonna get melee there for trouble after trading out that headshot still very very close game still only gonna be a four kill difference but i think we're gonna see maybe hopefully we're gonna see the actual objective limit this time instead of the score or the time running down yeah and there's the active camo you're seeing it on screen can right you see now. it where is it i sorry i mean i can't see it on screen right now but oh, oh this could be a good setup for nolatis there back smack, back smack. the halo triads are like the best yeah that that is true that is true and Coming in here, Saints now found seven kill lead in this Slayer game. Stark difference than what we saw in that capture the flag. Yeah. Oh, heat wave going to be picked up as well. This is a really cool one. So essentially, it's like a ricochet laser rifle that shoots either vertical or yeah. horizontally. <laughs> and it shoots, I believe it's like five shots spread. Yeah, I think it's and five. And then, yeah. yeah, it's horizontal or vertical. So you can either just shred apart a team or shoot it into a small room or that or vertical like that. one. <laughs> yeah, if you hit somebody with two of those vertical shots, as far as I know, that should be That'll be killed. sheets, yeah. See, they're trying to get it set up. Nolatis, there's the shot to come through from the heat wave. Be collapsed on by another player here. Dangerously Ooh. low, but the killing spree comes through. Nolatis gonna fall eventually, and that is a triple coming through for Lebanon Valley, but not before three of their own fall. Okay, the one thing I do love is that it says there's objective kills. Like, the objective kills aren't the actual game mode on the scoreboard there. <laughs> I love that from Halo. That if, just, just so you know, okay, the 11 objective kills. Saints, though, as you said, they're all holding on to a 10 kill lead right now. Already halfway to that 50 kill mark. Only three and a half minutes into the game. Going to find that grenade kill is going to be Redux as well. Saints are playing a much better game. Maybe Slayer is more their suit. That CTF game mode as well. Once you get behind, if you're not trading one for one in CTF, there's hardly a game ever. Call of Duty, uh, whatever else, uh, other shooters. It's very hard to come back in that game mode. Other team can just kind of play patient. Slayer, you can kind of, you know, go around the map, pick your spots, get up those power weapons, and find these engagements. And the Saints have been on the positive end so far, almost getting to that 30 kill mark. Yeah, and if you really play as a team in Slayer, as we've seen, you know, we've seen Nolatis and Maple spend a lot of their times in 2v1s. You'll yeah. have one teammate come back over or... Either that or you have one teammate kind of preoccupying the enemies while somebody else prioritizes those weapon pickups. Yeah, exactly. Usually, yeah, you have the designated objective man going to go try to find those weapons. You can even, yeah, help pass them off to your teammates, everything like that. Saints playing a great job. You can see they're getting the advantage of these power weapons. They found this active camo a couple times. They found the back smack and a few other flank kills. They picked up the heat wave, found a kill with that as well. So you can see how much of an impact those weapons have in an arena shooter. It's one of the core mechanics. Mingo mode is going to find the nade kill onto Syrup there. Saints trying to answer back here. They are eking ever so closer to that 50 mark though. Seven minute mark in the game. So they're looking to hit that 50 and they're doing a damn good job so far of it. Yeah, not too much resistance being given back from Lebanon Valley. You can see, just look at those kills in the score line. Six, six, three, and nine. Whereas you've got Nolatus, you've got Maple up there, 12 and 10. Redux with eight, good on in their own right, using Penguin. Down there, down there with five kills, but fighting the good fight here. Yeah. <laughs> There's the shots, Maple to find a double. 
keep pressing this lead forward for the Saints Academy here. Yeah, and I meant to mention earlier, our good friend Ryan, who is observing for us, just gave me the heads up, but I've forgotten. Friendly Fire is on for all competitive Halo modes, so really? you can absolutely grenade your teammates around corners. I will not say I've done it before in public matches, but it is definitely something that can happen, so something to keep an eye out for. You don't want to be errantly throwing those grenades, because you see so many of them coming out. You have to make sure you're lined up, and coordination has to be on point, so you don't end up team killing somebody with a grenade. The Saints, though, going to be up to a 40 to 30 lead, going to be 80 percent of that way to that 50 mark trying to end things off you're only halfway through the game as well so they've been pretty efficient in finding these frags specifically maple syrup gonna be up to 15 and 9 right now redux putting in work in this middle area as well gonna get traded out by mingo gonna be nautilus trying to find the finish off here not gonna quite find the kill but saints are only seven away from taking map two and evening things up Mingo mode, star of Lebanon Valley right now. Got that active camo ready. Should be able to find something here. Whoa. There's the melee to take down Accusing Penguin. But 45 kills for Saints Academy. 12 kills up and only 5 away from yep. victory here in map 2. Yeah, this would have to be an all-time throw or an all-time comeback for Lebanon Valley to ace this one up. Maple Syrup finding yet another headshot on that battle rifle, taking it down to only three necessary frags for the Saints to walk away with the win here on Aquarius, trying to slowly put the squeeze on Lebanon Valley, take them out of this game. I just said Mingo Mode has been trying his best to keep his team in the game. Everyone else just about even Katie. He's been the one to try to make the plays for them. And the Saints, obviously, as we mentioned, it's been Syrup. Three members are going to be in double digits. Penguin has been getting some frags the last couple minutes here, getting online now. So it's good to see all the members, you know, contributing to this win, hopefully. Well, still needing those three kills, though, so not just over yet. Uh, on Valley really trying to shut this down. You see Wizard once again with those melee kills, but two players set up now. There's 49. One left here for Saints Academy to close it. I mean, it's all but closed out at this point, and there that is, is going to be the final kill there. Saints Academy taking map two now, one and one in the series. Yeah, Maple Syrup having going 20 and 10, so a nice even 2 KD. Going to find almost half of the frags for the Saints, and Saints Academy Halo gets their first map win on stream, so congratulations to them. Played a much better game too. Slayer might be more their game mode. Maybe it was the map mm. for CTF that first time, but nonetheless, as I said, we're going to get to see a bunch of different game modes, so we're going to have to see map three. I believe it was either Stronghold or it was something... King of the Hill, I believe. King of the Hill was number three. Yeah, Stronghold was map four if we get in there, so going to see a bunch of different game modes here. I'm excited yeah. to see how it's kind of going to play out what weapons are going to spawn on each map because each map has its own unique it's weapon own, spawns as well yeah, so pool basically exactly yeah you're going to see the sword on some maps yeah and exactly you can shoot grenades in their pickup location as well so there's lots of there's so many mechanics the halo it looks very simple on the surface but mm. there's a lot going on on the backside as well so should be very interesting to see and we have a 1-1 series nice and even with 2-2 two -two teams yeah so many mechanics to learn just in terms of maps pickups etc etc but also just the gameplay is so so different because it's just a it's like a floaty shooter, right? Yeah. A lot of it, a lot of the gameplay is just based on strafing and, and who can hit those battle rifle headshots more, really. Yeah, it's like not Overwatch level strafing where it's like, you know, yeah. one of these where you're just trying to see pixels back and forth. But yeah, as you can see, is you're just trying to find those headshots. Ultimately, everyone's going to trade out 20, 25 body shots in most of these fights, but it's who can come down, hit those last couple headshots. And I think we are going over to the map streets for King of the Hill. So mm -hmm. one I'm not sure I'm super familiar with. I definitely knew the first two maps. Yes, we are going to go for streets for King of the Hill. So once again, going to get that third game mode in the loop here. And I'm very excited to say we're going to have both of these lobbies, but I think with that being said, we are going to throw it to a very, very quick break. I think the lobby might have got a little bit jacked up there, so we'll be back in hopefully another 30 seconds and get into map 3. For the side of Lebanon Valley, could get something started here, but is you still do have to take that flag all the way across yes. the map, so picks are only really going to get you that capture. you got to get more picks to be able to find that full carry, that full map carry there. Hipsty here taking a lot of damage, but dishing out some of his own as well. Nade's gonna be good. There's the kill onto Maple, and there's the capture to come through from Wizard. Yeah, they're able to, able to take the Saints flag now. Now, once again, gonna have to juggle this bad boy all the way back to their side, but as you said, you're going to have to find those two to three kills minimum to usually get this flag out of the other team's base. And even then, when you're juggling it, you're going to be spotted out immediately, basically playing Protect the President. Nolotis is going to find a kill there. They're going to try to contest this flag a little bit longer. The Saints trying to get that one back. Grenade kill going to come through for multiple members. And the flag, once again, going to be picked up by Lebanon Valley. They're going to repeat the process, and you're going to see a whole lot of this until one team's able to, you know, break the deadlock. Lebanon Valley... Put it back and forth. We saw the nose breaker there. This flag gonna get juggled once again. Mingo mode trying to run this thing all the way back to the base. Try to get Lebanon Valley their second point of the game here. And that's a tricky part. You gotta wait for your teammates, kind of group up. 
Maple Syrup is going to find the kill with the frag there. Second grenade kill going to get traded out. Syrup is going to fall to that battle rifle. Accusing going to find the trade. Multiple picks back and forth. These teams playing so nip and tuck right now. Lebanon Valley still clinging to that one point lead though. The Saints just trying to fight their way over to this base. Syrup is going to fall to that battle rifle. Accusing going to find the trade. Multiple picks back and forth. These teams playing so nip and tuck right now. Lebanon and we have a 1-1 series on our hands now. Map 3, King of the Hill on streets. Rocket launcher already going to be picked up. Chipsy going to find a kill with that. The rocket launcher, for those who know, one of the most devastating weapons in all of Halo's history. It is a weapon that when it spawns on the map, you immediately find some way to get it into your team's hands. We're going to see another power weapon get. This is going to be the stalker rifle. I believe it's going to take two or three shots to find that kill. Kind of like a sniper DMR hybrid weapon as well. And as you can see, King of the Hill, they are fighting over this middle objective. I think you're trying to stand on it as long as you can. Kind of like hard point. I believe in a sense you're trying to get capture the point and defend it as long as possible get to a certain score limit this game though only going to be five minutes long but I think I believe the timer can be paused if people are on the objective as well yeah we're gonna have to take a look at that but so as they build up this this bar here that's going to give them one point and capture that yes hill point and then I assume they'll rotate to another one yeah, more than likely, yeah. Or if not, it, yeah, it's going to reset and they're going to have to just run it back. But I would assume there's probably going to be a second point there as well. So, once again, we see a lot of hard point. Yeah, very nice shot there by Red X or Redux. Uh, there's the cap coming through for the Saints. So, they're getting a lot of time cap on this King the Hill here. At this point. Really just Rin to sit here. Oh, and we've actually seen Rin. Oh, yeah. Switching in here for Accusing Penguin coming into this game. Three and two already. Rita is having the game of his life so far. Five and oh, I mean, wow. We saw how on point the shots were and coming through. There's another one for Redux. Wow. Six and oh. Round it off. There's the first point. And now, next capture point incoming. Yep. Yeah, so it is going to swap points. They're just like typical hard point you see in Call of Duty minus, you know, having to get to that bar to switch the point manually. So it is going to be the, pretty much the same mechanic. Try to, and it looks like the score is going to end up being five. It looks like four or five. I think it's four, actually. So it'll be four to try to win out the map, it looks like. Saints were able to take that first one. And as you can see, Redux finally going to fall for his first death there, but playing an amazing first part of this game. And we're going to see, once again, the Saints are already on this point. They played these objectives pretty well, man. At least for this map so far, it is a sight for sore eyes compared to CTF. Yeah, absolutely dominant so far, you know, really reminiscent of that Slayer game. And I think that comes to the point that when you find those kills, that gives you so, so much time on that capture point. There's the rocket launcher to come through. Rin finds one, goes on to the point, but gonna fall immediately. That's gonna be the point going back to Lebanon Valley. Bit of a switch up there. Yep. Trying to get some progress back toward Lebanon Valley side now. Now they are playing the makeup game, the Saints, trying to find these frags. All the team pretty much doing a good job. Syrup, I believe, is just kind of sitting on that objective for some time, racking up those points for the Saints. Is going to find a frag for himself. They're going to get another member tagged down to one. Not going to be able to finish off the deal though. Shem Life's going to find one. Syrup going to go for a good trade as well. Both teams fighting for this point. Pretty much even progress so far. The Saints now starting to eke this one out. They might be able to actually take the capture on this one as well. Looks like Lebanon Valley has a little bit of ways to run here. So more than likely, it looks like the Saints are going to score their second point here. Moments away though, they will score that second point. King of the Hill point is going to rotate. Beautiful headshot there as well. Looks like it's first before then <laughs> from that scoreboard at the bottom. There's the shotgun from Rim. Rin to end up using that one out. Two players down from Lebanon Valley. Should give a little bit of time for the Saints to grab something. But not if Mingo mode is going to shut down Redux before they can get anything started. And dangerous with that shotgun in close yeah. quarters. <laughs> Just trying to play those corners how you can. Rin with a fall though. Losing that shotgun as well. Tap come through from Chipsy. Chipsy falling as well. Saints now get finally getting some progress on this third point here. Yeah, they're gonna flip the capture there. We're gonna have Nautilus, and there goes Nautilus. Rocket launcher right into the face. Gonna go down there. Lebanon Valley trying to hold this up from way downtown Mingo mode. That's and that's amazing. that's what I was talking about, the rocket launcher. It is quite literally what like the most like sought after devastating weapon besides an energy sword or a gravity hammer in Halo since I was a kid playing Halo 1. The weapon has been exactly the same, it's been equally powerful. I'm gonna see a bit of a nose breaker there onto Redux. The Saints still trying to jostle for this point. Lebanon Valley trying to slowly gain this progress now. Get some point back into the game here against St. Clair. Great shot there by Chipsy to find that headshot as well. Uh, two players down on each side, but the respawn's gonna come in just about the same time. 
melee to come through, but it's Mingo mode to win it out there. No, it's actually more going over to Lebanon Valley right now in terms of <laughs> capture. Rin loves this shotgun. Cut him down at the knees with that shoddy. Beautiful play by Rin. Lebanon Valley still trying to swing this point back in their favor, but St. Clair not saying die on this point. They are trying to stall out this time. They're trying to keep Lebanon Valley off of here as long as possible. They are now starting to gain that progress back. Look like they're even evening things up on this point now. Gonna try to look to find these frags, take advantage. We're gonna see two members dead for each side right now. So gonna be a 2v2 for the objective for the next couple seconds here. Lebanon Valley trying to collapse on this one though. And the Saints, once again, just too good on capturing that point the second it goes down. Uh, Nolitus, Nolitus and Redux to find a kill, but Nolitus to fall. But we'd give them just a little bit of time to get onto this point here. But neither team really wants to fully push onto this. Rin mm. missing three shotgun blasts in a row and gonna fall, getting turned on there. Wizard to get the melee onto Maple as well. And now nobody alive from the side of the Saints really just waiting on those respawns. The time is gonna tick up on this capture point for Lebanon Valley. Would be grabbing their first one here unless the Saints can contest it last second. That's going to be the first point for yeah. Lebanon Valley, keeping themselves in this game. Yeah, and I was about to say, I'm guessing it's a strategy as well where if you're going to lose the point, you're going to end up trying to give it anyways. Lebanon Valley did look like they made a really quick rotation, but I wonder if you had the wherewithal to kind of give that last point, knowing that it's going to turn, wait for that next spawn, and then try to sit on that one, be ready for it. Lebanon Valley, though, immediately jumping on this point, trying to get back in this game, even things up at two here. Still have three minutes to play because obviously, as we said, the timer is going to be pause the majority of the game still trying to find something on this stalker rifle shem life trying to at least scare the saints off for the time being lebanon valley doing a great job still holding on to this point gonna try to completely 100 to zero this one wow. literally having this point so so much progress already saints haven't really been able to get a foothold there there's a kill from rin but two immediately traded back rin to fall Respawn's not going to come through fast enough. Lebanon Valley wow. is on an absolute tear right now. 100 to 0 is right, Jobin. Yeah, and only 10 seconds being taken off of the clock as well, so not even really going to get stalled out at all. Now, this point is going to be very pivotal for one of these teams, especially if this clock ticks down a fair amount and one team is able to, you know, burn off maybe two minutes of that clock, a minute and a half or something crazy like that, end up taking it. You're going to put a lot of pressure on the other team. Lebanon Valley has had a phenomenal second half of this game. Mingo mode up to 18 kills, bordering on that 20 kill mark. A couple objective kills under his belt as well, so doing a very good job in the Saints. Honestly, right now it's just losing out on these early gunfights and not being able, you know, you can like stagger the spawns almost. You can kill off one person, yeah. then you don't really want to run in and take a 1v2, especially in a game like Halo where you're almost certain to lose it. So you have to kind of be smart with your decisions when you want to go in. And yeah, obviously timing it with your teammates when to, you know, dive and try to force these 2v1s. Yeah, the kills just kind of slightly slowed down from Saints Academy compared to the starting of this game. Trying to get onto that, but still going to be Lebanon Valley to have the most progress now on this one. And now that it's 2-2, two two, Rocket Launcher grab Whoa. from Rin, but falls immediately. Now picked up from Redux, <laughs> shooting at the floor, but <laughs> falling to that stalker <laughs> rifle from afar. <laughs> That was the definition of spray and pray with a bazooka. He was expecting somebody maybe be running up with that shotgun or a melee. Turns and fires, not going to find any value though. And Lebanon value, value, Lebanon value, still chipping away at this, this next point. They are getting a little more progress over Saints Academy. Just able to keep Saints Academy just enough off their backs here. Using this stalker rifle, able to open up so much of that map. Sham life, going to find yet another kill there. They're doing such a good job playing off these power weapons. Honestly, just winning a lot of gunfights, as you said, the kills slowed down for Saints Academy to a snail's pace, and they haven't really found their footing quite yet, these last couple objectives. Yeah, don't get me wrong, this last objective here, much, much more contested mm -hmm. than the past two, but Saints, only Ooh. a little bit of progress, you've got to be able to find that three. You know, that third point is going to be the deciding one yep. between these two teams, as a minute 30 left on the clock now. And yeah, you're right, it does pause while somebody yep. is capturing it, it looks like, but we're already going back to Lebanon Valley's side. Redux on the point here, but not really able to get on to the point. He's right around it, yep. but no teammates to really help him out, stuck in a 1v2. The port to show up, and there's the kill onto Shemlife. Maple Syrup 
finds Mingo mode as well. That could give them some time to get something started, but Lebanon Valley is just slowly trickling up yep. this point. Yeah, they're doing a really good job of, even though they're having to stagger the respawns, they're at least finding those trade frags, doing a good job keeping the, the holding serve on the point. The Saints, even when they found that team kill not too long ago, when they got that capture back, it immediately gets spawned upon all four members of Lebanon Valley come barreling down. They're able to find those exit frags, trying to get the Saints from keeping that capture going. Rocket launcher in the hand of Wizard. See if he can create any magic with it. That is a very dangerous man. He is going to be taken out, though. Rocket launcher going to be on the floor. Maybe the Saints can find something with it. Rin going to be good for one before he falls off there as well. Lebanon Valley has two members down the Saints. Maybe looking to try to take this one over. They are going to gain back the capture for the time being. And just like I said, only 50 seconds left. Both of these teams let this clock drain all the way down the Saints. Looking to try to even things up here. Rin ultimately going to fall, though. Lebanon Valley doing a great job of clearing out. And this rocket launcher in the hands of Syrup, though, is going to spell a lot of good news for the Saints. Only down to his last rocket, though. And the Saints are slowly trying to get this progress. He's basically going to go one. one for one there. We're going to take that after the side of the Saints for now. Nolitus is going to follow with that battle rifle kill the Saints. Trying to slowly clear out here. They are very, very close to overtaking Lebanon Valley as far as progress goes. The clock is low as well. We have a very close back and forth game with 30 seconds to and play. this is going to be of the point like I said neither of these teams are making it to four with the time left so it's really gonna be who can take this one and it's Lebanon Valley on it right now no contestion just yet the shotgun to be good from Chipsy and that could be it Saints this is your last stand Shem Life finding maple syrup with that if grenade they can another cap the next point. one they could still cap the next but point we see how difficult it is that's the only thing yeah so it's definitely not over yet but it is very difficult. They're going to have to hold this point the entire time, keep this clock stalled out as well. And Lebanon Valley has been playing so great. Mingo mode up to 30 frags. Chipsy going to end up with 20 of his own. We see Nolotus on the other side, 24 and 16, trying his damnedest to keep Lebanon Valley off this objective. Rin is going to be good for one. Syrup is going to fall in a trade there as well. Saints are trying to keep this game alive, trying to stall this game out just long enough to try to force it to go extra. But going to be a very difficult task, Rin. Gonna be on the point for the time being. They have a lot of work to do though. Yeah, 100%. And Lebanon Valley, I mean, they don't even have to necessarily go for the capture here. They just have to get Picks. Saints off the point and run down those eight seconds yep. left on the clock. Saints cannot have one player step off that objective for too, too long. Wizard here playing at the bottom of that hill, not really able to find much. There's the shots that come through Mingo Mode to fall. Gem life nade onto Nolatis. Oh. There's a nade from Maple Syrup. Oh. So good onto Chipsy. We're getting close. The progress is coming through, but the timer now starting oh. to tick down. Lebanon Valley got the point yep. in their hands. Yeah, they found three frags there. Only Nolatis going to remain for the Saints, at least until these respawns come through. That is going to be it, though. The Saints cut that one damn close at the end, but Lebanon Valley ultimately just being a little bit too much there on King of the Hill. The Saints now down two to one, and we're going to be on match point coming up after. Yeah, and I believe, I'm not wrong, Stronghold is the one yes. up next. So that is going to be essentially, you know, a domination mm -hmm. style game mode. You've got three points to capture. As you have those captured, the points tick up slowly and slowly. And of course, the more objectives you've got captured, the better for your team. Yeah, I think you have to have two objectives to actually start getting scores. So it's not exactly okay. like domination, but in essence, you'll be able to tell the score. It, you'll, it's going to make sense yeah, very, very yeah, quickly yeah, as a lot of these game modes have. I mean, yeah, ultimately boils down hard point capture the flag domination. Just variations on the game modes. Halo, they always like to sprinkle in their fun game modes. Maybe some oddball here and there or some other things. So they always like to mix it up as well. But oddball's seen, great. Oddball's fantastic. For people that haven't played it, it's fantastic game mode as well. Saints Academy though, they do a really good job finding these frags in the early game. They just have a hard time in the latter half because you yeah. even said it too, the frags slowed down to pretty much a halt in between the first half and second half of that game and then they made a great push late but ultimately not enough time to play with there. Yeah, only eight seconds left on that clock and it was the death of them. Yeah. Lebanon Valley really rallied back in that one. Mingo mode to come. I believe Sickle he was mode. 20 <laughs> plus kills in that game. Yep. Chipster as well or Chipsty had a lot of presence at the end of that yep. game, especially with that shotgun on the third point for Lebanon mm -hmm. Valley, really closed that game out for them. And then we're just able to play that slow play at the end. B-Site is mayhem on live fire. I'm Ooh. being told that next map we've got coming up. So Sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds, <laughs> sounds very good to me. 
yeah, we are getting loaded into the game here very, very quickly. Say, so we're not going to go to a break. Halo, luckily, very, very quick loading time. The game is not breaking, so it is very nice. I did, We did just get word the sniper is one of the drop weapons on this map, so we might see some insane snipes, some no scopes from across the map. It's going to be a very interesting time. It's always fun. The Halo sniper and the rocket launcher are two of the weapons you got to see in a five game yeah. series. You, if you see it, you instantly recognize it. You remember the feeling of A, getting those one shots, and B, going, how the hell did that guy hit me from across the map? Either way, though, Saints Academy trying to stave off match point here. Lebanon Valley holding that 2 to 1 lead as things stand. Lebanon Valley looking to close out the series here in Stronghold. So, yeah, I see what you mean. A and C already captured for both teams pretty well as St. Clair College to grab the first point here. A and B now captured and points starting to tick up. Those tick up pretty fast. Yeah, I'm guessing it goes to either like 100 or 150 or 200, somewhere in that. Yeah, so it's going to be, they're not the exact score, but they're going to have, you see the bar ticking up there as the progress goes up. Wizard going to be the nose breaker there, finding that one onto Nautilus. Nautilus, I would say Nautilus, thinking League of Legends on the brain, but Redux is going to find the kill there, trying to capture these points. And yeah, a game mode like this, you're going to see a lot more weird skirmishes because there's different objectives now. They're not all playing around a central point. So you're going to see a lot more off angles. You're going to see sniper lineups like this with Wizard <laughs> trying to find that pixel to take somebody's head off from the side of Saints Academy. And this is honestly a, a really, really fun map as well. I think it's one of the more enjoyed maps in the game. You have a lot of these good engagements, a lot of good lanes to play off of as well. The Saints trying to set up these frags, trying to get some progress onto these points. Lebanon Valley currently sitting on two of these points, so. Yeah, they've grabbed those now, and points are ticking up for them. Saints, you grab those nine points at the starting. Now able to grab one back for yourself. You've got B in hand, so Whoa. this is what we were talking about. B is absolute mayhem. Yeah. It's going to go back and forth, back and forth. You can see now already being recaptured. I mean, look at that what? thing. That's a disaster. Yeah. The heat wave come through as well. That's going to be a crazy gun in that close quarters. That B tunnel there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it ricochets off the walls. That's all you need to know. You can already see those <laughs> shots going haywire there. One going to fall as well. And triple capped for Lebanon Valley right now. Yeah, Saints trying to fight the way back onto this B point. And yeah, as we mentioned, this B point is going to be an absolute disaster to try to play off of. Just in the open, one small, tiny little building. These other sites are a little more off to the sides. So you can play off a little more range, a little more, a couple different angles and elevation changes as well. Saints still trying to find their second point here, trying to get back on the board as far as points go. Doing a good job so far, though. Lebanon Valley is just now going to overtake another point. Poor Saints are. Yeah, two down for each now oh, there's the double melee, melee. <laughs> trade to come through that's crazy to see not Don't many see. games that yeah, you can not do many that. games you can do that to be honest it comes through and saints to be starting to rack up these points once again you've grabbed a little bit of a lead on lebanon valley now as points keep ticking up for you and no contestion yet from lebanon valley there's oh. the kills to come through two for two though see now being captured back on Valley now has two points in their hand and should start getting some points back towards their name. Yeah, this is about how I expected this game mode to play out. Really, really back and forth. One of the flags being pretty much flipped the entire game, especially the way the spawns are. Yeah, the way they spawn all over the place, you're going to be end up taking these points, refreshing, trying to reset the spawns and everything of that nature. St. Clair still clinging to this lead. They do hold that A and B point B. Always going to be hotly contested, though. We haven't seen any crazy sniper kills yet, so I'm waiting for somebody to, you know, find the value out of one of those massive weapons as well. We do have Chipsy sitting with it in the back pocket there. Not going to play his hand just yet for the Saints, but we are going to see a bunch of flags in the middle of being flipped here. The Saints are going to have a trip cap, but are not going to be for long there. It's going to get flipped over. I'll flip back over immediately, but still going to be enough to get points for the Saints here. There's the Cypher to come through, like you said, but Chipsy falling to Redux. Battle Rifle win that out after the Sniper takes its first shot elsewhere. Now the points still stacking up for the Saints here. Built up a bit of a lead for themselves now. Probably the biggest lead we've seen all game and I think that's really what it's going to come to. It's going to be like back and forth, back and forth. Yep. Somebody's going to find like 50 points in a row yeah. and then back to back and forth, back and forth and Getting that initial lead is going to be big. I yes. believe it goes up to 200 here. So Saints almost halfway now. Emily and Chipsy finding a double, but Rin, the melee, to trade it back. Now, gotta go stop this B cap that Wizard and Chipsy are getting set. Notice. All eight players back alive. Yep, everyone back on the map trying to you know, fight over these objectives once more. Lebanon Valley trying to 
cut into this St. Clair lead that quickly snowballed up to almost 40 or 50 there. But as we said, Lebanon Valley is chipping away at this one now. We're going to see the heat wave being picked up there by Nolotis as well. Going to try to find some value with this one here. Lebanon Valley doing a great job to cut into the Saints lead there. And now we have a bit of a stalemate till C gets flipped over here. We are going to see Lebanon Valley trying to get back in that column. Now the Saints still fighting over this B flag. Lebanon Valley has done a great job of holding. Could be a kill in the corner there. Beautiful job by Chipsy to find the kill. Yeah, whiffing those shots, but just going to finish it off with that melee there. And melee so strong in Halo. Yeah. It's one of those games where, yeah, the melee can actually come in super clutch in the end. Do a fair bit of Whoa. damage in its own right. Shem Life to miss that sniper shot. Also, give away his position. Just absolutely <laughs> rattling off the grenades right. there towards that A point. <laughs> this guy's got a whole belt full of them. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. One sniper bullet will we see an insane no scope from the side of Nolotis. Praying and hoping he's able to find. We need to see one good sniper shot this game. The Saints, though, trying to hold on to this lead. Keep increasing it now. They do have possession of this A and this B flag. Slowly inching their way back. And you pretty much called it. There's going to be a 40-point swing one way. They're going to slowly even back. To, I bet you it'll be tied at like 150 by the midpoint of the game. Oh, yeah. And then it'll come down to who's able to find that. Maybe that team kill. Maybe pick up some of these weapons. We're going to see. I believe that is going to be the Needler picked up as well. So, Sniper down. The OG Needler going to be back on the map here. See if they can find any value with it. But so far, the Saints are more than happy to play the stall out game. Yeah, I mean, when you have the points captured, you just let those points tick up, tick up, what? be, be <laughs> recaptured from... <laughs> <laughs> some of these fights are just <laughs> killing me. Like, I know. <laughs> some of them just end up... It looks like it shouldn't be happening. It looks like it's almost a bug. And also just the fact that all the bodies ragged all too right, is yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful game to watch. It looks good. It feels good. And then there's a little, you know, a couple silly moments here and there. But we're seeing both teams still having a very, very tough fight. Lebanon Valley trying to cut back into this lead. The Saints doing a good job holding serve. These flags are going to be contested for the time being, though. And it looks like if a flag is being contested, score doesn't get racked up as well. So the Saints aren't going to gather points while Lebanon on Valley is half capping a flag, which I kind of like. Makes you have to fully commit to these objectives, have to actually go play them instead of just playing off for frags. We are going to see a trip cap, though, for the Saints coming through, so they're going to try to flood these points up the scoreboard. At least maybe get to that 170, 180 before one can be taken, and then you're going to be sitting at a very, very nice lead, which they currently sit at almost double Lebanon Valley score. Yeah, so I'm going to need the Ryan confirmation here on this one. If they have triple caps, does that make the score increase faster? All right, so that is a yes to come through. So the triple cap is definitely valuable, but it's hard to keep yep. for sure. I mean, the point's pretty far apart on the map there, and then in the end, it's 4v4, right? You yep. only have so many people you can commit to a point, so it looks like the double cap is going to be the main one. Nolitis, what a shot with the heat wave there. Not going to find the next one. Falls to Mingo Mode. Mingo Mode finds a double, but it's Redux to shut him down. Yep. And 196 for the Saints right now. That is just going to keep ticking up. Yeah, the Saints have played this beautifully. Going to be up to that 200. I think 250 is going to be the score limit there as well. So it's a tick over 200 there as we now see the game didn't end. So obviously it is going to be, looks like it's going to be 250, about a six of the bar there. Saints have done a phenomenal job of getting off to this huge lead. Now though, the trouble with a lot of Halo game modes is you have to try to find a way to finish this one off. Try to find these double caps, at least for small spurts of maybe 10, 15 seconds apiece. Double melee kill they're going to go through for the side of Lebanon Valley. Doing a fantastic job. Yeah, the overshield as well. Going to give you a couple extra hits there. And in a game like this, that's going to be exactly what you need to help finish off some of these fights. Saints still trying to fight back to take these points. Lebanon Valley now into triple digits and slowly climbing. Yeah, the overshield. I mean, if two players are perfectly even in skill, right? You're hitting the exact same amount of shots. That overshield is going to give you that slight advantage you need to yep. take the gunfight. And then we, you won't see that one-for-one -one trade that we've seen yeah. <laughs> so, so much. That double kill stalemate there. It's now double attack once again Ooh. for the Saints, making these points tick back up. But the contestion from Lebanon Valley to start on that C point there. Now, Lebanon Valley... You know, they were down for a while, but yeah. now starting to come back into this one. Only about 70 points down. They were about 120 down yep. a couple of seconds ago, so we'll see them coming back into this one in Mingo mode once again. Going absolutely Mingo mode. 19 and 16. Eight assists as well. And then you see on the other side, Noatis. We've seen some of the shots they've been hitting with that heat wave. The bites with the battle rifle as well. 20 and 8 coming through for Nolotis, actually going to fall in that gunfight there as Lebanon Valley 
Starting to claw back in this one. Yeah, don't look now. This game is starting to get a little bit closer than the Saints Academy team is probably comfortable with, but nonetheless, they're going to have to fight through the rest of this lobby. We did just see a sniper kill go through for Lebanon Valley, so finally getting some use. Syrup is going to fall to the battle rifle there. Lebanon Valley still climbing with these points, trying their best to keep the Saints off this contest. And they are getting very, very close. As you said, it was about a 100-point deficit at one point. Now we are only down to 40 and counting down. Going to be in the 30s now. So the Saints have to find some way. And we saw this kind of the last two game modes they lost. They kind of hit that midpoint or near the end point when the game was maybe in reach. And they're slowly letting it slip away. They have to find some way to dig their heels in and get these points back and try to get this lead. Because this lead is all but gone at this point. Yeah, 180 and counting for Lebanon Valley. Trying to close out this 3-1. They don't want to go back to Slayer because Slayer seemed to be Saints' strongest game mode there when you've got players like Nolatis and Maple hitting some of these crazy shots coming through. Definitely is one of those game modes that plays to their strengths. Now, just about tie game oh, here. Tie to come anymore. through. Lebanon Valley now taking the lead. Absolute comeback in this stronghold game here. I think, I guess we'll get all of the final number if the Saints aren't able to retake. I think that's 135 points unanswered. I think they were at 69 or 70 points when they took these flags. The Saints going to be up to 210, or Lebanon Valley rather, going to be at 210 now, holding a small lead over the Saints. The Saints finally going to get this two capture point. They're going to have to hold this one, though. They're going to have to really dig in, you know, dig into the trenches here, hold this point. It is going to get flipped. We have a 210 all game. B being flipped right now by Lebanon Valley. They're going to take that second point now, but the Saints are going to answer, flipping over to the C point. So now you're going to see the shuffling of the hands, the juggling of the objectives. Both teams trying to keep stalling out these points to stop this point from going up. The Saints scoring a whopping single one point for Lebanon Valley is going to try to flip it once more. And this is what we're going to see, I feel like, the rest of the game here. Yeah, and we're pretty well just back to the starting of the game there where it was five points to one team. Yeah, now we're playing the a 50. <laughs> 10 to another, back to the other. And now it's Lebanon Valley to actually take 10 plus point lead here. Contestion from the Saints to start it, but a team kill to come through from Lebanon Valley. Nolotus was the only one alive there to really stop anything. Here's the contestion to come through. Oh. Saints down, Mingo mode also down. Huh. Wizard to fall from and the into the drink. <laughs> all the way into the ocean there. But still, even with all yep. those kills to come through, the capture was not good. Saints are going to have a hard time trying to finish off this game. Yeah. We saw a Lebanon Valley member go for a swim there, but the Saints are currently drowning in these objectives. They have not found a way back into this game. They're finally starting to get these points ticked up. They're going to want to get to at least that 225, 230 mark before it gets slipped again, ideally. Try to at least get it in striking distance. Then maybe you get a team kill. You set something up with these power weapons, and then you can maybe find the angle you need to win this game. They are slowly eking their way back, though. We're going to have 237 to 231 and counting. Fantastic job by Redux to find that frag there, keeping Lebanon Valley just at arm's reach here. Now we're pretty much going to have a dead even game. Lebanon Valley trying their best to contest. They're going to take out there. I believe it was Syrup going to fall. We're going to see Rin trying to find the kill. He is going to get taken out as well. The Saints, though, now going to be falling. Lebanon Valley holding on to these two points, and they are damn close to winning. Only needing five, five more. The Saints are going to have to find the contest. There it is. It's coming through. 249, 250. Lebanon Valley is going to be your winner in week five of ABGL College Halo here. 3 1 fashion, yep. only dropping that Slayer map and a huge comeback to come through in yeah. round four as well. You know, you've got to feel good about that if you're Lebanon Valley. Yeah, all respect to Lebanon Valley. They they did not give up on that game, and they were down 120 plus points, I think, at one point. They fought back, and mm -hmm. even in the games the Saints lost, we saw a very, very close back and forth series. We yeah. saw a King of the Hill and the Stronghold come down basically to the last 30 seconds of the game. The Saints just falling short on Stronghold and then ultimately blowing that lead on uh yeah, stronghold, yeah, gonna feel a little bit bad for them, but they brought it back almost at the end, but just couldn't find those. They got the kills there right at the end, but they needed more of that in the mid game. Yeah, exactly. And they really needed to prioritize those objectives, if anything. Yeah. Felt like a lot of times they were just battling it out and then two for two, and then no one's able to yeah. capture that point after. And Lebanon Valley just kept ticking up, kept ticking yeah. up. I mean, they found like 120 points straight. You don't, you, we didn't see that for yeah. the entire game until that point. Even the Saints, when they grabbed their lead, it was still back and forth, back yeah. and forth. Just they were able to grab 30 points and then 10 to L yeah. LVC or something like that, right? But 
in the end, Lebanon Valley going to fight it out in yep. that stronghold game and make their record 3-2 here in week five. Yep. Saints falling to 2-3. and three. Yeah, it was exactly the kind of series we thought that two teams that were 2-2 two and two were going to play out there. Mm. Pretty much dead even back and forth. The Saints, as you said, they are going to fall to 3-1. But first time on stream, they definitely gave us a good showing. We mm -hmm. got to explain Halo a little bit because I'm sure yeah. we're going to see it next week and in the future as College Halo keeps coming up here. So nice to explain. Get that quick little nostalgia trip. You know, give everyone a rundown of how it works and everything. So always a fun stream either way. But with that being said, we have a lot more streams coming up as far as the weeks go on. So we'll get a quick look at the schedule here and we'll show you guys what is going on. I say the rest of the week is it's just going to be Friday and Saturday, so we're going to see Rainbow Six Siege. You read that right. 9.30 p.m. for the Academy team. The one game they had on stream they lost, they went on, I believe, a 12 or 13-0 and run since then. So this team is hot. They are ready to get into the playoff season soon. And then Saturday as well, we are going to have, I believe it's CCL MW2 gameplay at 1 p.m. We're going to finally have Modern Warfare 2 hopefully leaving Vanguard in the dust we're once past, and for all. We're past the Vanguard curse. Except not quite yet because we have teams that are probably going to be in the playoffs the next but. few weeks. So Vanguard's going to be sticking around just a little longer. But we finally get a taste of MW2. It should be awesome. And one quick little extra note. There is going to be the uh, St. Clair Esports Club, once again, is going to be running an extra live stream this weekend, Saturday, November 5th. They're going to be running it for 24 hours here at a local place called M Chapter. They're going to be streaming. If you saw me last year, we ran did a bunch of punishments. We ate a bunch of hot peppers. We did a whole litany of things for donations it's all for the extra life the children's miracle network and miracle foundation to support you know sick kids in different hospitals especially ones near london it's something that was near and dear to our heart last year we raised mm -hmm. over two thousand dollars us we're hoping to crush that number make it up to 5k we have lots of uh, cool incentives like sean cost playing as one punch man our, our president zachary shaving his beard we have a bunch of cool stuff to plan out so we hope everybody is able to tune in there on the st Clair esports club twitch we'll, we'll plug after the fact as well so just had to throw that out there quickly it is coming up in two days so hopefully everyone's able to make get out for that stream as well yeah because i remember extra life from last year it was a great time and i didn't know about the sean one punch man yeah thing. that would be a great one to <laughs> sean see Tom. coming through but that's gonna be it for us tonight i'm josh fundy profundy joined once again by daniel jobin it's been an awesome night to have halo, halo on day. the stream and i'm sure we're gonna have halo on here yep. again but other than that, any final notes, Shobin? No, that, that's it. Happy Halo Day. That's all I got to say. Happy Halo Day. That's great. All right. Well, shout out to the production team, Danners and Ryan. And shout out, Ryan, for helping me with all the Halo True. information that I was just slightly off yeah. on. But <laughs> that's going to be it for us tonight. You have a good one. Able to find that full carry, that full map carry there. Chipsy here taking a lot of damage, but dishing out some of his own as well. He's going to be good. There's the kill on the main front catalyst. Yeah, but currently just down against Lebanon Valley. You can see kill-wise, score-wise, Redux able to trade one back there, grabs an assist, but one or two picks is not going to do you much when you need to grab that flag in the end. This is an objective game mode. Yep. Although, with 60 seconds left, the Saints are going to need some heroic plays, and they're going to need it fast. They have basically no time to make up a lot of ground here, so... This will be a very hard way to come back here, but all that being said, Lebanon Valley has played a very, very clean game so far. Yeah, it looks like Mingo Mode is going to secure number three here and six. Pretty much a one-to-one -one game so far. Both teams trying to find a way to break away, though. This active camo is going to be available for that as well. So as we said, it's one of like the power abilities. You can go invisible for a short time, stealth around the map, try to find those backline flanks. Syrup going to get melee there for trouble after trading out that headshot. Still very, very close game. Still only going to be a four kill difference, but should be. That'll be shields. Yeah. See, they're trying to get it set up. Nolotis, there's the shot to come through from the heat wave. Be collapsed on by another player here. Dangerously Ooh. low, but the killing spree comes through. Nolotis gonna fall eventually, and that is a triple coming through for Lebanon Valley, but not either that or you have one teammate kind of preoccupying the enemies while somebody else prioritizes those weapons. Yeah, exactly. Usually, yeah, you have the designated objective man going to go try to find those weapons. You can even, yeah, help pass them off, end up team killing somebody with the grenade. The Saints, though, going to be up to a 40 to 30 lead. Going to be 80% of that way to that 50 mark, trying to end things off. You're only halfway through the game as well, so they've been pretty efficient in finding these frags. Specifically, Maple Syrup going to be up to 15 and 9 right now. Redux putting in work in this middle area as well. Going to get traded up by Mingo. Once again with those melee kills, but two players set up now. There's 49. One left here for Saints Academy to close it. I mean, it's all but closed out at this point, and that is, is going to be the final kill there. Saints Academy. Series on our hands now. Map 3, King of the Hill on streets. Rocket Launcher already going to be picked up. 
Chipsy gonna find a kill with that, the rocket launcher. For those who know, one of the most devastating weapons in all of Halo's history. It is a weapon that when it spawns on the map, you need of that Slayer game. And I think that comes to the point that when you find those kills, that gives you so, so much time on that capture point. There's the rocket oh. launcher to come through. Rin finds one, goes on to the point, but gonna fall immediately. Good job, Surf. I believe he's just kind of sitting on that objective for some time, racking up those points for the Saints. He's going to find a frag for himself. They're going to get another member tagged down to one. Not going to be able to finish off the deal, though. Shem Life's going to find one. Surf going to go. Able to keep Saints Academy just enough off their backs here. Using this Stalker Rifle, able to open up so much of that map. Shem Life going to find yet another kill there. They're doing such a good job playing off these power weapons. Honestly, just winning a lot of gunfights, as you said, the kills slowed down for Saints Academy to a snail's pace, and they haven't really found their footing quite yet these last couple objectives. Yeah, don't get me wrong, this last objective here, much, much more contested mm -hmm. than the past two, but Saints, only Ooh. a little bit of progress. You've got to be able to find that three stuck in a 1v2. Support to show up, and there's the kill onto Shem Life, Maple Syrup. Finds Mingo mode as that capture back. It immediately gets spawned upon. All four members of Lebanon Valley come barreling down. They're able to find those exit frags, trying to get the Saints from keeping that capture going. Rocket launcher in the hand of Wizard. Let's see if he can create any magic with it. That is a very dangerous man. He is going to be taken out, though. Rocket launcher going to be on the floor. Maybe the Saints can find something with it. Rin going to be good for one before he falls off there as well. Lebanon Valley has two members down the Saints. Maybe looking to try to take this one over. They are going to gain back the capture for the time being. And just like I said, only 50 seconds left. Both of these teams let... Right now, no contestion just yet. The shotgun to be good from Chipsy. And that could be it. Saints, this is your last stand. Shem Life finding Maple Syrup with that if grenade. They can insta cap the next one. point. They could still cap the next but point. We see how difficult it is. That's your ask. Rin going to be on the point for the time being. They have a lot of work to do, though. Yeah, 100%. And Lebanon Valley, I mean, they don't even have to necessarily go for the capture here. They just have to get Picks. Saints off the point and run down those eight seconds yeah. left on the clock. Saints cannot have one player step off that objective for two. Long, got B in hand, so Whoa. that's what we were Whoa. talking about. B is absolute mayhem. Yeah. It's gonna go back and forth, back and forth. You can see now already being recaptured. I mean, look at that what? thing. That's a disaster. Yeah. The heat wave come through as well. That's gonna be a crazy gun in that close quarters. That B tunnel there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it ricochets off the walls. That's all you need to know. You can already <laughs> see those shots going haywire. There, one gonna fall and get back on the board as far as points go. Doing a good job so far though. Lebanon Valley is just now going to overtake a better point. Poor thing, so. Yeah, two down for each one. Now oh, there's the double melee, melee. <laughs> trade to come through. <laughs> gonna come to it's gonna be like back and forth, back and forth. Yep. Somebody's gonna find like 50 points in a row yeah. and then back to back and forth, back and forth. And getting that initial lead is gonna be big. I yes. believe it goes up to 200 here. So Saints almost halfway now. I'm like Gypsy finding a double, but Rin the melee to trade it back. Slowly even back. To, I bet you it'll be tied at like 150 by the midpoint of the game. Oh yeah. And then it'll come down to who's able to find that. Maybe that team kill. Maybe pick up some of these weapons. You're gonna see. I believe that is gonna be the Needler picked up as well. So sniper down. The OG Needler gonna be back on the map here. See if they can find any value with. It. But so far the Saints are more than happy to play this stallout game. I mean, when you have the points captured, you just let those points pick up, pick up, what? be, be <laughs> recaptured from this half capping a flag, which I kind of like. Makes sure you have to fully commit to these objectives, have to actually go play them instead of just playing off for frags. We are going to see a trip cap, though, for the Saints coming through, so they're going to try to flood these points up the scoreboard. At least maybe get to that 170, 180 before one can be taken. Commit to a point, so. Looks like the double cap is going to be the main one. No, it's just what a shot with the heat wave there. Not going to find the next one. Falls to Mingo Mode. Mingo Mode finds a double, but it's Redux to shut him down. Yep. And Lebanon Valley now taking the lead. Absolute comeback in this stronghold game here. I think, I guess we'll get all of the final number if the Saints aren't able to retake. I think that's 135 points unanswered. I think they were at 69 or 70 points when they took these flags. The Saints going to be up to 210, or Lebanon Valley rather, going to be at 210 now, holding a small lead over the Saints. The Saints really stop anything. There's the contestion to come through. Oh. Saints down, Mingo mode also down, <laughs> to fall from and the into the drink. <laughs> all the way into the ocean there. Now going to be falling, Lebanon Valley holding on to these two points. 
and they are damn close to winning, only needing five, five more. The Saints are going to have to find the contest. There it is. It's coming through 249, 250. Lebanon Valley is going to be your winner in a week. Able to find.